I'm Rachel Goldsworthy and welcome to the drive home to Hawkesbury where I believe every home has a story and I love sharing those stories on real estate in the Hawkesbury with you. Here we share the best ways to add value to your property, how to avoid the common mistakes people make when buying and selling property and how to get the maximum return on your investment with a focus on supporting local business. I live love Hawkesbury and can't wait to get into today's episode with you so let's get started. <laughs> Good morning, good afternoon, or good evening, depending on when you're listening to this episode. I'm Rachel Goldsworthy, and I'm joined by Lep from Blythe Park. How are you? Good, really good. That's good. And we're showcasing one of these beautiful little babies, as you call it. What's yep. this little fella, an Austin? An Austin A30. Okay. Same type of car, the uh, Peter Brock drove. Right. It's first car. It's oh, is that right? Yeah, that's the style of car it is. Yeah, okay. And he had a two door and this is a four. Yeah, okay. And what we're doing is a little bit of a promotion for the car show that's coming up. It's yep. a specialised car show on the 30th of July. Tell us a little bit about that for the people that are listening. Yeah, you know, what it is, it's a fundraiser. We do it for uh, Windsor Soup Kitchen up there, the homeless people up on the river. We give them as much money as we can on the day, or the couple of days after, yep. sorry. Yeah. We, um, they, they've been good over the years, it's probably our sixth year with them. Is that right? Yeah, yeah they help yeah. and we've done it for a couple of other mobs before but they didn't um, they didn't appreciate it as much. Yeah. So we dropped them and uh, yeah, yeah. yeah, and we're stuck with them. <laughs> <laughs> They're good, they help on the day yeah. and it's very satisfying to see people yeah, you know, walking around and you know they've had a feed or you yeah. go up to the place and they're um, having a feed and they know who you are, not that you want to be. No, that's no. right, that's right, yeah. And yeah. tell me, you, you said that there was like 5,000 people that come to this show every year and it's building all of the time. Yeah, it was yeah. probably, we've had, we had an estimate at one time that it was 5,000, but yeah. it's hard to say, unless yeah. you wanted to count, but we don't worry about it. doesn't matter about you, the numbers, does no, it? It's just getting it. together just, with your friends and yeah, catching up, sharing the cars. and. That's exactly what yeah, it is, it's yeah. out having fun. And what we are, we're a family, we're a family who will do it. It's me uh, wife, Michelle, and Jamie, my son, Sky, my daughter, yeah. and her, her uh, partner, and all mates, a stack of mates. Yeah. And the soup girl, the actual soup kitchen, yeah. they uh, help on the day, which makes things so much easier. Terrific, yeah. It, it's a full-on thing. Most people are from the community. Yeah, so. and kind of that's what the Hawks is all about, isn't yeah, it? It's all yeah. about community. It's all about helping one another out doing these sorts of things so that everyone could get together, share some of the spoils that we all have together, yep, yep. look at the cars, have a family day out, as you say, have a bit of a feed, yep. and then give some money to charity. Well, that's what it is. Yeah. And you know, nine out of 10 people who, when they leave, because we only charge $5 a car to come in, and we don't care how many people are in the no. car, it's up to them, and we just charge a gold coin donation yeah. for any spectators that come in. That's great. And you find nine out of 10 people on the way out at the end of the day, they will sit back and throw whatever change they got in the pocket. That's in fantastic. The because yeah. they've had a cheap day. Yeah, that's good. That's and the good. club, the club goes well. The yeah. Windsor Leagues Club because of a morning they have a uh, ten dollar breakfast on, sit down, bacon, eggs, whatever else comes with it. So yeah, it becomes a real cheap day. Yeah, and tell me what is it? Um, what sort of cars are they looking at on the day, and what where have they got to go to be able to see these beautiful cars? Yeah, well, what we have, we have hot rods, plenty of hot rods. Yeah, uh, custom cars. Uh, street cars, um, drag cars. We have all the drag cars we start up on the day. Uh, have it all that. We have uh, kids yep. rides. We have a band uh, and plenty of trade stands. Uh, and you know, if you want to go and have a flutter on the pokies, there and there, have yep. plenty of beer. It's and it's whole on um, family day. We don't have motorbikes no. because we've, uh, it is a family day, so we we sort of do that. Um, and yeah, we just just go out and have a great day for everyone. Terrific. And whereabouts do they need to go to get to see these cars? Yeah, corner of um, Rifle Range Road, where Windsor Leagues Club is. Yeah. Um, what do they do with parking? Parking. Uh, uh, earliest, earlier you get there, the better for your parking. <laughs> That's it. Definitely. Yeah. 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 For sure. But you're there from six thirty. Yeah. Yeah. Say. I'm there. So from early bird gets the word. Yeah. Yeah. You might <laughs> hang around for a while, but it's yeah. up to yourself. But yeah. People coming in all the time, and from then on, you know, you just don't know who's coming. It's uh, yeah. being such an open day. It's uh, very satisfying. You get some lovely people coming. Yeah, absolutely yeah. lovely people. Oh, that's terrific. And they terrific. come from everywhere. Yeah. They do a lot of travelling. Where's the furthest that somebody's travelled uh, to get to the show? Canberra, 
uh, Cambridge, Newcastle, um, Tamworth. Wow. They've got a, okay. a club yeah. of uh, people coming down from Tamworth this year. Uh, um, oh, the North Shore, all yeah. over the North Shore, all around there. Um, yeah, it's, it's, they come very up the mountains. Yep. And if you've got a fancy car, is it too late to enter? No, no, no. No, no. We, uh, <laughs> early bird gets the worm to get in. Yeah, okay. That's how it works because we don't take bookings. We don't do any of that stuff. No. We try and make it easy. Drive in, park where you want. One spot. One spot only per car. Well, we don't have like barricades and that because it's his family. Sure. Yeah, that's it. And we get more cars in and they make more money. Yeah, for <laughs> sure. And do you have a website or a phone number nah, that people can get in contact we don't have with you? Or anything. No, we have phone numbers. Yeah. Um, I work under LEP, L E P, 0412 826 Terrific. And my son's number is, I don't know, because it's over there. I'll grab that number for you. <laughs> There you My go. His name's Jamie. Jamie, and it's 0402 235 413. So if you want a great day out, I'll just pop this back over on the table. If you want a great day out, LEP's obviously um, going to be the, the forefront for everybody, yep. but also it's a team effort from everybody. Oh, without a doubt. You can't Big do community it. effort. You can't do it on your own. No, no, for you sure. You can't do it on your own. And tell me, a part of the community and living in the Hawkesbury, you're in Bly Park, what do you like about the area and what do you? how long have you been here? Oh. We moved in back when Bly Park was first built up in Rich Close. We're up there on the first stage of it. We sold out there uh, at the truck at the time and it was killing me going to Botany every day. So mm. we come back, we sold out there and went to um, to Borker Mills. Big mistake, school-wise and anyway, yeah, there. Yeah. So we uh, come back here. So you missed the, the, the Hawkesbury yeah. and you, you wanted to get back into it. Well, yeah. see, we've got, okay, you've got plenty of good shopping up there. Yeah. You have the mall and all the stuff. you got Blacktown Beach up there, you know. You've got to have a couple <laughs> of beers or do whatever you want. And yeah. It's just it's great people are in. Got yeah. some good clubs, good pubs. Yeah. Um, plenty of shopping for the ladies and, yeah. Terrific. It's yeah. all plenty for the kids. The yeah. other thing we have as well is we have stacks of trophies. In fact, stacks of them, and they're big ones. Yeah. So, how many trophies would you have won over the years with all that? Like, I'm looking at the garages that he's got here, the cars that are amazing. They've got beautiful engines, and I call this this car cute, the Austin cute. And he sort of said, everyone says it's cute, but it should be sort of like a beefy male sort of car, I'm sure. Called, that's why it's called Mr. Maniac, Sr. <laughs> there you go. No, but that, they're terrific looking cars, and obviously they're going to do special things on the day. Yeah. Um, but the trophies that people are winning, why are they winning them? What do, I can what show do they... you one. I can show you something if you want. Give you an idea what they're up to. We will put one on the screen for people in Terrific. between this. Yep. Um, so we will show, is it Mr. Maniac? Yeah, Mr. Maniac yeah. Racing, that's what we work under. Yeah, so we'll put Mr. Maniac Racing and a, a section of it being in a race. Cool, yeah. Um, so that everyone can see. Yep. And those I'll people that are listening, I mean, we can obviously put a, a link on something oh, for yeah, that, people to. Oh, yeah, <laughs> yeah, for sure. And what's the size of the engines of the two that you've got here uh, on this display? This one's a 307 yes. Chef. Yeah. Cool. And the other one on the other car is a 383 Chev, small block. Yeah. That one's um, called Blown and Injected, the other one. Uh, and the Austin, it's um, an injected, mechanically injected engine. It'd almost walk along like a human, wouldn't on the back legs as yeah. it's going because of the, the, it's the new, um, power. It's a new, new car. <laughs> we've, we're trying to get a run in, but it's, we've come into a few obstacles. <laughs> Not our problem, but you know, others. It's always hobbies, isn't it? Trying to get the right parts for the right yeah, that's bits and right. pieces oh, of the car. Some so. of the people you do with. <laughs> <laughs> that's all right well listen if anybody wants a great day out family day community all those sorts of things um, we're going to be at the Windsor Leagues on the 30th of July yep. starting at 6 30 bring your special car bring your special family anybody that you want to bring gold coin donation five dollars for the vehicles and if you've got any questions we'll put a link on this site for um, people to contact there for his son Jamie yep. and um, Jamie's hard to get at sometimes at work so you know, but if you leave a message, you'll always ring you back. No, nah, terrific. All right, well, thanks so much for your time today. Oh, really appreciate the insight and what's down. going on. Yeah, terrific. Lovely. Okay, we'll See catch up with you again. On the day. Absolutely. 
Thank you so much for taking time out listening to today's episode. If you have any questions on the process of buying, selling, leasing or strata management, please don't hesitate to reach out to me. Be sure to subscribe on iTunes and I'd really appreciate it if you could spread the word by liking and sharing this episode with your family and friends. I'm Rachel Goldsworthy and I look forward to catching up with you on the next episode of the Drive Home to Hawkesbury.